Hi everybody, welcome back to Soriatic Stand-Up. I'm your host Chris, and today I'm going to be talking about high school with psoriasis. Now we all know that high school was a magical time, and high school with psoriasis was even more magicaler. Yeah. Anyway, just to give you an idea of where I had psoriasis when I was in high school, I had it on my forehead. I had a strip right here. I had it in the creases of my nose, in the corners of my eyes, and on my torso. And I played a lot of sports in high school, more specifically football. So you can imagine, you know, wearing the helmet, having that strip of psoriasis on my forehead. That helmet rubbed my forehead raw. And I couldn't just take my helmet off and give it a scratch because that'd be dangerous. And so by the time we got into the locker room and I was able to take my helmet off, I, it was just a it was an itch fest, an absolute itch fest, which I was actually sent to the nurse's office a lot for because they, they were worried I had lice, which I knew for a fact that I didn't because there's no way that any living creature could live up there. It was like a desert. Which brings me to my next awkward time, shower time. Shower time after football. Now, all my teammates, I kid you not, I was the only one who did not shower at school. Whether it was after gym class or after football practice. So, I remember all of my teammates, they were just eager to get their, you know, to take their clothes off and shower and compare each other's personalities. Me, on the other hand, no. No, not me. I didn't do it. Which made it kind of hard for, because sometimes after football games, there would be a dance. So, after a football game, no shower, going straight to a dance, no good. Things are a bit ripe. So, I would have to douse myself in cologne and deodorant, which really burns. Really burns. That's a lot of chemicals to be pouring on skin that's open most of the time. So, I would have to, uh, yeah, I'd have to musk up. And, uh... The dances, that was a whole nother thing. I remember going to my dances, and every single dance, every single dance, they would play Nelly, It's Getting Hot in Her. Let's take a moment and just reminisce. It's getting hot in here, so, hot. so take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot, uh, I want to uh, take uh, my uh, clothes uh, off. Uh. Nope. Sorry, Nelly. Not going to do it. And so... I had, you know, my, all my teammates and all the other guys just itching, itching to take their clothes off. And remember, these are the same guys that were comparing each other's personalities earlier. And me, I was just, I was just itching. I was just itching. Which actually led me to a lot of situations with the ladies where I was friend zone. We're all familiar with the friend zone. I remember giving, you know, my f girlfriends or my friends that were girls hugs. In the, and after the hug, their little black dress would be a little gray dress. They would step back. Oh, thanks, Chris. That's so nice. It was awkward. It was very awkward. But thankfully, I made it through and I ended up meeting... The woman that I ended up marrying, she didn't want to put me in the friend zone, and I married her real quick. I didn't want to give her a chance to change her mind. But those of you who are still in high school, don't let those mean words and those awkward stares get you down, because it's just a temporary time in your life, and it's a time where you need to surround yourself with positive people anyway. So accept yourself for who you are, and if you have psoriasis, your skin does not make you who you are. Psoriasis is some, it's just something you have. Don't let it control you. So remember, psoriasis is a serious disease, but that doesn't mean we have to take ourselves too seriously. And you don't have to get naked if you don't want to. All right, comment below. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. And we will see you next time.